Time for Mr. Truck, reviewing the latest innovations for your truck and trailer. Mr. Truck here. I am, I've got another accessory for trailers. Now you've probably already seen me do the sumo springs. I attached them to my truck, my Ford F-150. And that made a big difference in the ride and how it, how it doesn't squat. It has all those features that I wanted. And this is a sumo spring for the trailer. It's that microcellular foam, lifetime warranty on this. And it'll compress, it has air bubbles in there and the more dense the, the, the foam, the stiffer it is for your load. And this one here is a blue one. So this should be just right for this trailer. I've got, uh, I think they're 48,000, 4,800 pound axles. And of course I've got tandems and their leaf springs. And it comes with spacers so you can get the right height. Looks to me like one spacer is going to give me that half inch of compression that I want. And it comes with a bracket and then all the bolts. This sits on top of the axle and bolts to the shackle, the leaf springs, and the axle. And then your, uh, your sumo mounts on top of that and then this shoots up against the frame of the trailer. Now, you can't, there's no room on these RVs. So uh, this almost works like a shock absorber and there's no room for a shock absorber under there. Most traders don't have shock absorbers. A few horse traders do, you know, a few RVs do, but very few. So this will give me that kind of control on the leaf spring. So I'm putting it on there, I'm gonna screw it on now, attach it, but you know, I've been waiting for these for a long time is there's, they, they came out five years ago with a sumo trailer spring that would work if your axle was below the spring, you would have all that room. And now they just come out with this model that works on top of the axle on top of the spring. So now where there's less room, I can still put one of these on and get a better ride and protect what's underneath there because there's a lot of things that can get hit. There's the brackets that hold my 110 gallon fresh water tank and then there's straps that hold that on and I was getting awfully close to hitting all that with my axles just during a normal riding. And we load this up with uh, a side-by-side -side and two four-wheelers and a motorcycle. So we get up there right under 10,000 pounds. And, you know, we go through off-roading somewhat to get to the good trails. So we take some pretty bad roads. And I want this kind of cushion to help me. So that's what we're doing. I'm installing this on my trailer now. And then we'll show you the camera underneath of the movement before and after the sumo springs. So this should be really good. So join us for this review. If you have a short bed truck, you know it's not easy to hook up to a gooseneck. Pop-Up came out with these extensions from 9 inches to 16 inches to keep you from breaking out your back window when you're pulling a gooseneck trailer. And everybody uses a short bed. That's the most proper truck there is, is a crew cab short bed. So protect that window. Now you can see on a compressed spring, that axle is almost touching the frame. It's only on this side now, full compression, you're looking at maybe an inch and a half, inch and a quarter. And on this end, it's got all angle irons holding that 110 gallon fresh water tank in. And it just about, the axle almost hits that bracket up front. So that's what I'm trying to avoid, is give this a little more room and have like a shock absorber action, where this cushion will give me a better ride and It'll save me from breaking something down here because stuff is just too close together when you have the axle above the spring. So that's what we're going to do. I'll show you when the sumo spring's on there and then we're going to put a camera on it and watch it bounce. We already did a camera on where it bounced without the sumo springs. So this will be a good comparison. But it's so good that you can put the, the, the uh, sumo on either side of the frame or either side of the axle. So you can get away from all these straps and stuff that this one has. And that's good. So on this back axle, I'll have it closer to the shackle end of this part here and on the other axle I have it closer to well, I guess I have it closer to the shackle also the triangular parts in the middle so I guess they're both going to be closer to the shackle on this but this would be a big improvement so I used the ramp jack I used to actually change tires that way I can drive up and get one wheel off the ground without having to do that manual labor and then, of course, here's the sumo and the spacer getting ready to put it on there and see what this does for my trailer. It, it did great things for my truck, and I expect great things for my trailer. This is the bracket you put on your leaf spring, and it attaches to the axle. 
so it goes get right there and that's kind of dark in here but that's the bracket and then also as you can see and what's nice about this is you can adjust it either side of the axle because on this I have a 110 gallon fuel tank and that bracket right there right above the axle gets really close to the axle when it's empty it's about three inches and then a lot more when it's loaded and then there's a strap right there that also holds that tank and you have them on both ends so all that's in the way so you got to make sure that you're on the right side of the axle you can be it says either the equalizer triangle or the shackle which is what this is so now i'm going to attach the springs on top of there and it'll push against the i-beam frame on this trailer that's where the cushion will hit go from the spring up to the frame so that is cool then i'll attach the the sumos now this also has parts to put these extra little grommets here that's you have to move the gas line out of the way which is cool that you gotta have those my gas lines don't go all the way to the axles so i'm not gonna have to use them then it has all the bolts the u-bolts two sets of u-bolts that attach it to the axle around wrap it around the springs and of course it has that good blue stuff for putting the bolts in on the sumo but you got on each side you got three extra of these spacers so you do some measuring and the measuring when i measured it from the axle up or from the bracket up i had about three inches and i know it's less than that when it's loaded so when I measured it, it looks like I you can go a quarter to a half inch more with spacers so you have some compression on the sumo spring. So I measured it all out, it's about a half inch compression. So it's a quarter to a half is what they recommend. So this is what we're gonna do with this microcellular sumo springs for trailers. So here's a sumo, I'm bolting it to the bracket. Uh, it actually says one bolt comes in from the top, goes through the spacer, goes through the sumo. And, of course, it's upside down here. And you tighten that all up first before you set it on the leaf spring. So it's a really simple installation, and it's a fast installation. It's one of the easiest ones I've done. Of course, all the super spring products are like that. They're putting on a super spring is very quick. Putting on sumo springs on a truck is real quick. Well, the so now I've got it all installed. It looks like now we'll get this wheel on and the other one off but you can see where the bolt is on the back u bolt goes around those other bolts for the axle holding the leaf spring on and then on the front side ah, and here's the front side you see the bolt coming from the bottom going over the leaf spring there so that's how it attaches it squeezes on the leaf springs and the u bolts hold the axle to the leaf spring and now it's all attached so now i can do the back one and go out and do some tests that's what i like doing is the tests now these bottom bolts so the bolts that hold it forward and back you're only supposed to go up to 60 pounds they are locking bolts locking nuts i mean so you want to do about 60 pounds on your torque wrench at 60. now the ones holding the one bolt goes to the middle holds the sumo spring it has that Loctite on it, so that's what keeps it from ever coming loose. And there, I just finished the back axle. So that's on and attached, you know, and that's cool. Now, you can buy these Trader Sumo Springs on MrTruck.com, as well as these Centromatic Wheel Bouncers are all in the store on MrTruck.com. But this was a quick install very easy to do and it comes with everything you need except for the wrenches and the jacks but no now we're gonna go ahead and test these so this is the before test before we put sumo springs on it this is just the leaf springs bouncing around that C-clamp on top is holding one of the brackets for the fresh water tank. Uh, the bolt, the welds broke on it, so I've got to re-weld it so, so I can get things done. I put C-clamps on there to keep them out of the way. And you can see how much this axle moves. It'll bounce all over the place, and it bounces quite frequently. 
and you'll see what happens on the sumo spring side. course now here's the sumo springs you can see how much difference there is and how much that axle can move and how far it can move so this is really a good test now this is a very rough road this actually this road with other trailers i've actually bent axles on and hitting the potholes on it so you see a lot of bouncing on there because it is a very tough road it's a very good place to test these sumos for trailers